Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 154 and we are going to talk about avoiding anxieties. When we talk about anxiety, we have to be careful that that anxiety can create distortion in our decision making and that anxiety can even sometimes lead to anger as well. So in that regard, remember one thing that when we are going to make the decision and during the negotiations, we have to control our anxiety. The first important thing is that the anxiety can create distress and that distress can be obviously evident from our decision making and from our expressions which are carried by our face and the body gestures. We have to be careful that during the negotiations our anxiety should not be demonstrated because uske demonstrate hone se hamari jo efficiency or effectiveness se us pe compromise a sakta hai. Another important thing is ke anger jab create hoga during the negotiation so that would call for flight that you may like to leave the situation. Jab ke jab hum baat kar rahe hai anxiety ki so that is talking about the flight context. Ab anger ne jahan par fight create kiya so anxiety is leading us towards the flight context that we are not able to negotiate appropriately or us appropriate negotiation na hone ki wajah se we are there to basically come up with the flight strategy. So we conclude in this particular point that anger wo fight ko call karega or anxiety would call the flight mode, the flight strategy jis mein ki aap situation ko leave kar jaoge unnecessarily. Another important thing is that when we are talking about negotiations, we have to be careful that the persistence and mustakil mizaji wo hamare hona decision making ke doran wo bohut zaruri hai. Because that persistence and patience is going to lead us towards achieving our desired goals and objectives. Another important thing is that when we are decision making, when we are negotiating, so we have to see that our aspirations and our associations which we call towards decision making. So, to know those aspirations is necessary for us, to know motivations is necessary for us, because as we know, in emotional intelligence, mein, the motivation is one of the very important ingredient. Or sir, ingredient ke bagheer, hum decision making ko utna effectively lekar nahi chal sakte. So, negotiations ke doran bhi, apni aspirations ko, apni motivations ko hume zhur pehchan na chahiye. Now remember, Jab hum decision making and negotiations kar rahe hai, we have to look at the points ke hum inko avoid kaise kare For example, jab hum anxiety ki baat karte hai during the negotiation, we have to see ke during the negotiation, you are always talking about getting the larger pie. Or us larger pie ko hasil karne ke liye, us bade hasse ko hasil karne ke liye, aap ke jo inner triggers hai, sometimes they cause frustration, sometimes they cause anxiety, sometimes they cause even burnout. So we have to be careful that the associated cheezen, ye emotions can unexpected outcomes. Ki taraf lekar ja sakte hain. And obviously, in sub mein jo sabse bada masla create karega emotion and that is the emotion of anger, which we have to control by any means. Second important cheez yaad rakhiye ga, ke negotiations ke doran, hume un terms and conditions ko samajna hai, jis ke upar hum apne maamalat ko tay kar rahe hain. And we have to see, ke dousre ke saath hum collaborate, wo kaise karein. Because our collaboration is important during the negotiation. The reason being that we do short term wins, but we want to achieve long term gains. Unko achieve karna chahte hai. Another very important factor which we have to understand is that during the negotiation, we create a situation that we win win collaboration, win win outcome. Wo ho. Rather than going for win lose or lose win or lose lose. Rather than, we always focus karna on the win-win. Because both the parties are there to come up with their desired outcomes. And if we achieve desired outcomes, ko achieve karne ke liye opportunities and circumstances, then we are not good negotiators. Therefore, for good negotiation, karne ke liye, we need to come up with win-win situation, win-win development. Another important thing is, that we have to see where our escalation of commitment is. हम किन किन तरीकों से ट्रिगर होते हैं और वो क्या फैक्टर्स हैं कि जिनसे कि हमारा कन्फ्लिक्ट कैन कॉज अस ट्रबल सो अपने कन्फ्लिक्ट को अंडरस्टैंड करना कन्फ्लिक्ट को रिजॉल्व करने के लिए अप्रोप्रिएट स्ट्रेटजीज को यूज करना नेगोशिएशंस के अंदर एंजाइटीज की डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन को अवॉइड करना एंगर को ओवरकम करना ये तमाम वो चीजें हैं जिनको हमें कोशिश करनी है कि हम अपने 
ड्यूरिंग द डिसीजन मेकिंग उनको अचीव करने के दौरान अपने ऑब्जेक्टिव टी भी ऑब्जेक्टिव को अचीव करने के दौरान उस बात को जहन में रखें कि वी आर नॉट देयर टू एक्चुअली वायोलेट द रूल ऑफ थम्ब एंड द रूल ऑफ थम्ब इज दैट वी शुड नॉट बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग एंगर एंड एंगजाइटी ड्यूरिंग द टॉक डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो याद रखिएगा कि एंगजाइटीज हमारी डिसीजन मेकिंग को और हमारी निगोसिएशन को डिस्टॉर्ट वो कर सकती हैं एंड ऑब्वियसली एंगर भी हमें डिस्टॉर्शन की तरफ लेकर जा सकता है नो डाउट समटाइम्स एंगर से आप ज्यादा अपना हासिल करना चाहते हो हिस्सा लेकिन एंगर की डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन कैन क्रिएट द अदर पर्सन इन ए अनडिजायरेबल मूड जो कि हमें अवॉइड करना है थैंक यू